EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. A mild, clear day is what we'll have for the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Pittsburgh Panthers. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Panthers. The Panthers are the slight underdog in this game, but there are no doubts on their sideline that they can pull it off. Pittsburgh is going to have a tough time defending this rushing attack and this running back. It's very important that they shut him down and keep the ball out of his hands if they expect to have a chance in this game. Yo, there's only one winning team today. I'm taking... Alabama has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. And it's a short kickoff. Garrison fields it at the 18. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. If there's one guy to keep an eye on in this game, then it's this machine at defensive end. He just has a knack of getting into opponent's backfield. This quarterback better watch out because this end is going to keep coming and coming and coming at him. It'll be hard to keep this guy in check, but I'm sure he'll be commanding a lot of double teams in this game. It'll be interesting to see what kind of effect he has in this game today. From their own 35-yard line, second and eight coming up here. The Panthers line up in an eye formation, throwing left. Someone got a hand on it. What a play by the defensive back. He knocked that ball out of the sky before the receiver had a chance to do anything about it. Third They'll line eight. up at the 35. Oh, it's third down. Yeah. Lewis lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. He looks. Sack for a loss at the 29-yard line. The protection just broke down there. I'll tell you, though, Kirk, it's hard to keep this end away from the quarterback. Well, they're going to have to. Otherwise, this quarterback's going to get drilled out there. The Panthers line up to punt. Norman is waiting for the snap. He gets it off. Ingram takes it at the 33. Just couldn't break free on that one. Now, Brad, he didn't have a lot of open field to run, but he did a nice job of making something out of nothing. They'll set up shot at the 37-yard line. First and 10. The Tide line up with three wide. They hand it off. Smith with a takedown at the 41-yard line. Ingram gets about four yards on the play. From their own 41-yard line. Second down and six. Alabama comes to the line with three wide. He throws left. It's tipped. Good awareness defensively that time by the linebacker. Not only that, but as you saw, he also made a very athletic move to get to the ball. They line up at the 41. Third down, six to go. Ingram alone in the backfield. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, and it's caught. Lee tackles him for a loss on the play. Three and out. Yeah, the defense did a great job. They line up at the 16. It's third down. The Panthers come out in the shotgun. Stepping up, throws this one out to the left. And that one's fallen incomplete. It's fourth down. And the kicking team is on to try this 33-yard field goal. Stevenson can bring his team back within a touchdown. He gets it up, and it's good. Pittsburgh is ready to kick it away. And this one's a short kick. Ingram takes it at the 16. 
Now we see the offense come out of the field. And you know who's trembling right now? That defensive secondary. Secondary should be trembling after all the yards that they gave up that last time. You better believe they're going to be working that clock on this drive. One man backfield. Here's the give. And down he goes at the 40. Ingram gains seven yards on that play. So that'll make it second down. It's second down and about three yards. McLean gets the carry. And they make the stop at the 43. The big fella took it and plowed for the first down. He was just following his blocks and, hey, they're moving the sticks. First, first down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. They're packed in tight on the line. He'll get it again. Brought down at the 48. They get about five yards from the halfback. Second down. The Crimson Tide come to the line with their jumbo packet. They'll bring him down at the 49. Ingram gets three yards on the play. Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. The Tide line up in a goal line formation. Ingram again. Lee with the tackle at the 45-yard line. Close, close call, but it's good for the first down. That defender down there is upset. He knows that if he would have gotten to the play a second sooner, he would have been able to make the stop. But a great call and a good run there on third down. The Crimson Tide come to the line with their jumbo package. Broke away from one, and he's tackled at the 36. I'm Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Street and Lee Corso. The Mercury will be reaching high levels today in this matchup between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Michigan Wolverines. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. Here come the Wolverines! The Wolverines expect big things from their guys today. Who do you have winning this one, Kirk? Michigan comes into this one with a good passing attack, and they have a difference maker lining up at wide receiver. In fact, Lee, I think he's one of the best receivers in all of college football. Yo, Kirk, you stole my pick. Michigan is going to manhandle him. Mississippi State is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He kicks off. Edwards fields it at the 13. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. This drive will start at the 29-yard line. First and 10. The Wolverines line up with three wide. He throws a dart. His receiver has it. Tackle made at the 44. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and then take advantage of it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. They'll work from the shotgun. Brady drops back, lets it fly. Knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. And they'll lose a yard there. Second down. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Wolverines line up with trips left. Brady on the option left side. Third 
They line up at the 46. Third down. Brady lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. Feeling the pressure. And it's going the other way. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. Excellent field position to start the drive. First and ten. Parker with three wide receivers. Moody, the ball carrier. Woodley tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Well, the defense really put the clamps down on that run. Boy, Brad, great effort up front by that defense. They line up at the 48. Second down. Mississippi State comes out of the shotgun. He breaks it, and they'll bring him down behind the line. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. Third and about 15 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 45. The Bulldogs line up with three wide. Looking. He's rolling right. It's tipped. Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a... The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Wolverine have five receivers on this play. He lets it fly. They'll bring him down at the 39-yard line. Now that's what you have to do on third and long. Yep, he went right at him and hit him in the mouth. That's a great conversion to get the first down. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. Brady lines up with three receivers on his right. Brady hands it off. Rackley gets in the backfield for a loss. They sure shut down the halfback on that play. Boy, they were in the backfield in a hurry. The back just had no space to run the football. Second down, 14 coming up here. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Brady has trips to his left. Gibson brings him down at the 39. The halfback runs for four yards. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Michigan lines up in a goal line set. Play fake. He throws left. This one is incomplete. Calm down, sweetheart. Quit thinking so much and just throw the football. I don't know if he's thinking too much. He just let that pass get away from him. No, no. I can tell when a quarterback is thinking too much. Just take the snap, drop back, and fire it. You're all right if you do that. I promise you. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. The Wolverine line up with a single set back to you. It's on the ground. Number 80 with a recovery. They'll start this drive at the 46-yard line. The Bulldogs have five receivers on this play. Surveys the field. He passes it. It's complete. Woodson with a takedown at the 29-yard line. Mississippi State will take a timeout, and they've got two remaining. First and 10, ball on the 29-yard line. Three wideouts here. First down, look at the throw. Parker goes down with a sack. Mississippi State takes a timeout. They line up at the 38. Second and long. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Looks, slings it, got it to his receiver. Mississippi State will call a timeout. It's third down. The Bulldogs come out the shotgun. He looks. He fires this one. 
He catches another one. Woodson. Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. Stadium Poncho sales are at a peak with all this rain for our contest tonight between the Brigham Young Cougars and the Oklahoma Sooners. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Sooners. The Sooners have been looking forward to this matchup all week. Kirk, what are your thoughts on this game? BYU is looking to get the ball in the hands of their star wide receiver, and I think he's the most athletic player on the field today. Look for him to get his touches early, and look for him to score two, maybe three times in the upset. Nah, no upset here today, Kurt. I'm picking. Brigham Young is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. And this one's a short kick. Clayton takes it at the 16, bounces off a would-be tackler. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. This is a pretty good quarterback coming out of the field right now, but this safety wants to make sure that he doesn't have a good day out there. You know what? I'm going to go out on the limb here and predict an interception today by this safety. Wow, I like that prediction, Kirk, but I don't see the quarterback throwing the ball his way too often today, so we'll see what he can do. From their own 36-yard line, so it's second and 10. White comes to the line with three wide. White steps back to pass. And he brings it down. That one worked pretty well. It's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. First and 10. Ball on their own 49. Yeah. Oklahoma goes with the ace set here. Up the middle. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. Four, maybe five yards on the run. From the 46-yard line, we've got a second and five. Oklahoma comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass, steps up in the pocket. He guns it. That's incomplete. The defense looked alive on that play. Yeah, Coach, he did a great job of reading the play and beating the receiver to the ball. That'll make it third down. Third, third and five, five situation. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Cougs come out in a 34 defense. Slings it, and he's got him again. He looked like he threw that one about as hard as he could. Well, sometimes you have to. You've got to make sure the defense can't get to it, so you put a little extra zip on the throw, just like he did there. I'll tell you what, that ball looks like a missile with laces. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Going with the shotgun here. Here they come. He's sacked at the 38-yard line. They line up at the 38. It's second down, 15 to go. White lines up in the shotgun. He drops back, quick throw, catches it, and he's tackled at the 33. Nice little pattern there. Yeah, he had great position there, and that ball was thrown in the right spot. They line up at the 33. It's third down. They come out with three wide receivers. White, back to pass. And it's intercepted. Not a good decision there. Why'd he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. This quarterback is a gamer. He comes to play every game. The 
The offense will start at the 13 yard line. Brigham Young lines up for the shotgun set. He rifles it and he brings it down. Our cameraman didn't even know who had the ball. I'm pretty sure the defense didn't either. The halfback did a heck of a job faking like he was running with the ball. <laughs> they were about to tackle him. We've got a first and 10. The coup come out in the shotgun, moves up in the pocket. He passes it, and he got it! What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. Interesting call. Defense came with the heat that time. Problem was, they couldn't quite get to the quarterback. And when you can't quite do something, that means the other guys will probably have a big play. <laughs> and you're right. That pass was good for a bunch of yards that time. It's first down. The Cougar line up with four wideouts. He's going left, and he's got him on the run. With that pass, they pick up another first down. And coach, you can feel the momentum building with each first down in this drive. Yep, this offense is in pretty good rhythm right now. First it's ten. first and 10, ball on the 26-yard line. Young with a nice play fake. He throws. Malone tackles him at the eight-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. They're in the red zone. The coup come out the shotgun, steps up in the pocket. He's brought down at the 14. From the 14-yard line, We've got second and goal. Young lines up with four wideouts. He's rolling left. He delivers. It's deflected. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Penalty marker down in the backfield. Might be a holding call. First and 11. Nothing to pass him. Half the distance to the goal. Big penalty there, guys. 15 yards. Now he's got to know that the refs won't allow him to take the quarterback down so late. It's first down. Four wide receivers in the formation. He throws it, and it's caught. And they make the stop at the one. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. First of all, walking the passer. Four is the corner. Second down. They line up a few feet from the goal line. Second down and goal. Brigham Young comes out with an eye formation. Inside give. Nothing complicated about that one, Coach. The halfback took it in for six. You're right. It doesn't have to be quantum physics to get in the end zone. Ball on the 42-yard line. Young is back in the gun. Throws. They can't connect. Incomplete. How about that play, Coach? Kirk, that's exactly how you teach a player to defend the pass. Do anything possible to disrupt the play. You don't necessarily have to make the interception to make a big play on defense. That's very true. Now they'll have a fourth down situation. Clark is waiting for the snap. He gets it away. Blake fields it at the 19. What do you guys think this offense has to do to get their team back in this game? They only need a touchdown, and that would put them right back into this game. And they have enough time on the clock where they don't have to rush their offense. You're exactly right, Coach. They just need to put together a solid drive. Oklahoma comes out of the shotgun. Murray on a counter. Williams brings him down at the 24-yard line. Murray comes away with two yards on the carry. That'll bring up second down. Second and eight. Ball on their own 24. White comes to the line. Three wide. Throws it to the outside. This one is incomplete. He let that one go before the defense got to him, and it fell incomplete. Well, sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. Third and eight. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Sooner line up in an eye formation. Steps up, looking, throws to the middle. It's complete. Brought down with only one man to beat. 
It's a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and then found his man. Yep, give the receiver some credit too. He got open, then made a nice catch for the first down. It's first and 10, ball on the 47. The Sooners line up with a single set back to you. Across the middle, someone got a hand on it. Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a beautiful play. Second, Second down, 10, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Yeah. Oklahoma lines up in a shotgun set. White steps back to pass. This one will fall incomplete. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk, but you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. That'll make it third down. Defense lines up in a 3-4. He's looking to pass. That is ball. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. So that'll bring up a fourth down. The coach spoke really highly of this kid before the game, and now I can see why. If this guy keeps making plays like that, then there will be a lot more people than his coach talking about him in the future. They come out in a five-wide set. Let's it go. Finds his receiver, and they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. They'll get the ball here at the 45. The Cougs line up in an I formation. Young hands it off. They'll bring him down at the 47. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Second down. They'll work from the shotgun. Young with the give. Pruitt tackles him at the 50-yard line. Number 21 gets three yards on the play. It's third and five. They line up at the 50. The Cougar come out showing three wide. He unloads it. Incomplete. That brings up a punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. The Cougars line up the punt. Clayton will be the return man. He punts it. What do you expect from this offense at this point, fellas? Well, the old kicker can stop warming up because it's four down football now. You got that right, Coach. The defense did their job. Now it's the offense's turn to try to make this a ball game again. The Sooners line up with a single set backfield. He lets it go, and it's incomplete. He let that pass get away from him. I think he's a little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time, but he'll get the next one. Second, Second down, 10 yards Ball to go. Yards. Ball on the 20. Murray lines up in the deep back, eye formation. Throws in a hurry. He had to get rid of that one in a hurry. The defensive coordinator cooked up a good blitz package that time, and although it didn't result in a sack, it forced a bad throw. From their own 20-yard line, it's third down. The Sooners go with the eye formation. He steps up. He's looking for his man. Great concentration. Nothing gained on the play. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Three wideouts here. They need this pass. Let's it fly. Incomplete pass. Someone down there. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Even though the sun is set, the temperature hasn't decreased for tonight's game between the Penn State Nittany Lions and the Georgia Bulldogs. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Bulldogs. I think this thing's a toss-up. Right. 
second and seven. They line up in an eye. He drops back. Throws to the middle. He catches another. He's taken down at the 42. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. Georgia lines up with three receivers. He's looking. Let's it fly. And it's caught. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. Yeah, this guy's not going to burn too many guys deep, but he's definitely a good possession guy who we can rely on. It's second down and a yard to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. Hampton, the lone back, setting up the play action. He's looking for his man. They can't connect. Incomplete. Bad pass. He missed a guy who was all alone. Man, is that hurt. They drew up a great play, but failed to execute. Third it's third one. and one. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Hampton lines up for the deep back. Eye formation. Toss to the right. Can he get to the six? Gene with the tackle at the 25-yard line. Gene is slow to get up, and he might be hurt. He might have to stay on that sideline until he can tell the trainer what school he's playing for. They'll line up at the 25. First down. He looks to throw on first down. Across the middle. Got him on the run. Touchdown, Bulldogs. What a huge touchdown. I can't believe that they're able to grab the lead with almost no time left on the clock. That was a perfect lesson in clock management. They got into the end zone, and barring a small miracle, they will win this game. Now they'll try to tack on the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Georgia 21, Penn State 14. Georgia to kick this one off. Taylor and Robinson back to return. He kicks off. Taylor fields it at the three. So what do you think about this situation, fellas? This is obviously a big possession. They have to get the ball in the end zone right here. And this is their last opportunity, Kirk. If they don't score here, then they can call it a night. They'll go to work at the 23-yard line. Penn State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Looks, he throws it, and he's got him on the run. That one worked pretty well. And it's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. We've got a first and 10. Penn State comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. Rifles it over the middle. And this one's going to get intercepted. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding 